Hey, welcome to the Chatbotic world. So this is the demo video of uh, Chatbotic, the game changing AI chatbot solution. So to log in into the Chatbotic, you need to provide that email address and password and simply click the login. Then you can see the Chatbotic dashboard. So this is the uh, very simple dashboard. As a first step to add a Chatbot to your website, you need to add a add your website in the chatbotic dashboard so simply click the website bots and click the plus button then it will ask you to enter your website basic details so here i just simply put my website name and the url of the website then i need to pick the role of the chatbot to my website so you can pick the mini of these roles so in my case i simply pick the customer service executive so the customer service executive for my website as the chatbotic role and simply click the save so then immediately the website is added in the chatbotic dashboard so now the second step i need to train my chatbot to respond the customer inquiries with related to my business or services so for that i simply click this icon the edit website content then here either i can manually type give the details about my website or business or service offerings or simply click the get website content data it will pull the data from my website right so in this case i already type the something about my business so i'm going to use that content i simply copy and paste those content here i just ensure my business name is mentioned here okay then i simply click the save button that's it now our chatbot is get trained now i need to embed this chatbot in the website withrenya.com so for that first i need to get the embed code of the chatbot so for that i simply click this get code button then it will open the customized chatbot so this is the customized chatbot six and here i can change the chatbot appearance with my brand style okay so before that i just wanted to show you so this is the website i am going to put the chatbot here so right now there is no chatbot is available in this website okay so what i'll do i just go back to this chatbot and customize my chatbot the primary color color i pick i just trying to match with the right with the website brand color name so it's has 0 a c c b 7 right so this is the color of my brand and the secondary color i put something related to this i just pick this it's fine okay so whether i want to show that uh, email lead form before starting the chat or not i can f do it by clicking this checkbox if i untick if i tick this the email lead form will display in the chat window before the chat session is started and also the mode of the chart window whether it should be a maximized mode or in the minimized mode i can choose this and the toggle footer is just you may give the favor for our website link in your website whether you can choose the toggle footer or not okay and i i choose the secondary color as simply this okay so by default my chatbot should be in the chat window minimized so once i did all the customization simply click this embed code the embed code copied to the clipboard now i go back to my websites in the header section of my website this is the wordpress website for each website has the different option to add the html code the main part is you just add the html code of our chatbot in your web page header section so in this case i just paste in the header section of the web page and click the save changes as i so it's getting saved yeah it's saved so as i shown you earlier my website doesn't have any chatbot so now i simply refresh this website yes the chatbot is displaying here let's see um, if i click it it will just open it you see the chatbot's uh, look and feel is just matched with my website's brand aesthetics right so now let's just try something with the chatbot how it is responding back to us let's see so that's exactly what okay. I just asked this question to the chatbot it is typing something so we are located at so 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 and so address you can visit us during our business hours if you have any further questions or would like to schedule an appointment please feel free to contact us to the email address it is asking this so now i'm also going to ask something 
I asked this question, why do I choose you for my digital marketing needs? So now the chatbot is typing to respond back to my questions in intelligent way. So I have typed thanks. I'm interested in your brand visibility service. Let me know more details on this. Let's wait how the chatbot is responding back to this question. So this is the result. So our service include a free brand evaluation report. So you see, <clears throat> when the user entered their email address, it's immediately recorded that as a lead and it also asking their mobile number to record further. So in this case, I just put some fake mobile number as mine. Okay, it's recorded. So let's come back to our chatbotic dashboard to see how it looks like. So to see the leads information, just click this icon leads and it will display whatever leads you are Shortbot is collected that will display it separately here and you can export all the data into the Excel. <clears throat> Suppose if you want to do the real-time integration when the user entered their lead information in the chart session immediately you want to send those information to other websites then you can simply integrate this leads section with the Zapier. So for that what you need to just log in into your Zapier account so in my case, this is my Zapier account. Click the create Zap. And in the trigger section, just type chartbotic and pick the chartbotic. It's very slow for me and choose the event event is new lead when the new leads is get entered in any of the chart session this trigger will trigger this jab will get triggered okay click the continue and you need to choose the account of your chart bot. so for that you need to pick the chart bot. so in this case i already added but if you are in in, in your case you need to click the create new account right so in this, it will ask you So in this, you need to provide the API key. So where you can find this API key, it's very simple. Just go back to your chatbotic dashboard and click the My Profile section. So here you can find your Zapier API key. Simply copy this and come back to this page and paste this and click the yes continue to chatbotic that's it so now your chatbotic account is gets connected with your zapier account so then you can do any action you want twice you can also see the chat histories whoever is chat with your chatbot in your website you can see all the chat histories here for that simply click this chat history icon then it will load all, all the chat so see here this is the chat we did earlier so that chat is displaying here suppose if it is a very long chat session you you cannot read one by one to understand what the user is asking and what the chatbot is responding back then you simply click this view summary to see the very long chat session with the few lines of sentences here you see that long sentence long uh, session of chat history is summarized in within the two to three sentences or a very short simple paragraph so in this way it will save you that lot of time to understand what the user has asked what the chatbot has respond back right so so far we we saw that website bots so in the same way you can add your messenger bots also so for that simply click the plus button then it will redirect you to the facebook and here and and here you can connect your Facebook business pages or Instagram business pages to respond back to your social media visitors queries on the messenger side in the same way how your website visitors get a response from chatbot your social media visitors will get the response from the chatbotic AA chatbot on the messenger itself.